So you get the radio board there. It's a radio board, yeah. You can see the... Turn it upside down. There we go. Volume. Tune. Probably some sort of a display, display or something that, goes yeah. in there. Oh. Is that a standard design to have the knob soldered right on the board? I, I, I haven't seen that done before. Um, I mean, that whole front panel really really looks quite a bit different from a, you know, the dash of a, uh, of a mainstream vehicle. Yeah. That's kind of, I, I think it's kind of cool. I, normally we, uh, we have, uh, like there's going to be an intermediate board or a, or a flex circuit or something like that. You almost never see. There's plenty of these laying around. I mean, we've got radios everywhere that we've taken to pieces. So <laughs> I just think it's kind of. I've just never seen it before. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. Did you see this? Yeah. <laughs> you ever seen that before? Anybody like soldering, hard soldering? A... Oh, I pulled. I switched those back on. I had to pull them off. Oh, oh, they. Oh. Yeah, they pull off. Oh. They go through the base. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Well, there you go. See, I thought we had some fun, and but the, but even through the face, they're connected, right? Well, they go. Th whoops. Well, they go through the face. This is very similar to. Uh, actually, it's sitting right over there. Uh, this is very similar to one of the things that we did for. Uh, um, what's the name of that company? Uh, Otis. Otis Elevated. So it's exactly the same construction. Um, so we took the uh, circuit board and put, actually it was the first uh, application of little LED lights and made it shine right through. Uh -huh. So that's the circuit board for the lights and then applied it straight to the circuit board for the um, uh, uh, button. This was for, uh, what do you call it, type of elevator, uh, freight elevator. 